everyone. So I want to take a moment to talk about the different types of contact we can have. So with respiratory, you break it down between droplet and aerosol. Droplet would be nasal, mouth. Aerosol, if you think about vents, things coming through, they're circulating in the air. We also have sexual transmission. We have skin to skin. Remember, you could do knuckles, you can high five someone without having sexual contact, but coming in contact with skin and a potential pathogen. Blood, mother to fetus. Mother to fetus can include childbirth. It can also include placental transmission. Mother to child via breast milk. Those are all types of examples of direct contact. Indirect, you have fomites, which are inanimate objects, so a toilet seat, a doorknob, um, a shopping buggy handle. Food, food could be fecal oral, so improperly washing hands after having a bowel movement, or it could be just improperly cooking food. A couple different ways with food. Water, soil is one that a lot of people forget about. And then there's one that a lot of people um, are going to be new with, you may not have heard of this term before, nosocomial. It's the Greek word for hospital. So nosocomial infections are going to be hospital or facility-acquired infections. 